Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how you can turn a Sony Android TV into a product like Samsung's The Frame or replicate features such as ambient mode uh, using any Sony Android TV from even a few years back to maybe even going a little bit forward. I'm currently using a 65 inch AF9 Master Series OLED TV, however you can easily do this on any one of the product ranges. So what we're going to need is a couple of apps. So we're going to go into the Google Play Store and download an app called Photo. There are many other apps you could use as an art gallery such as Loop. Uh, Loop will just for example allow you to pick a, uh, a selected art gallery here and just loop it on uh, on display. However, the app that we need is a little bit more uh, flexible. So what you do is you go up to the search box here and search for photo, which is spelt F-O-T-O-O. -O. F-O-T should be enough to bring it up though. Download and install this. Now what I like about photo is, is that you can connect your uh, cloud drives and things to it, uh, such as Google Photos. So go ahead and open up the app and for this tutorial we're going to use the sample photos provided by Sony in your TV. So we're going to ch choose gallery but n just take note of the other options which are available on screen. So it's pretty good. So we're going to go to gallery. We're going to choose the two sample photos by checking this box here and hitting complete. And that will start to slideshow the two photos that are available, which was very, very easy to do. Now to create the sort of look and feel of the dimmed state that you normally see on a frame product, it's easy. You just go over to picture by accessing the uh, ac action menu button and hit picture mode photo. Now I would make a few changes. I would lower the brightness down to minimum and enable the light sensor as well. This should prevent any kind of long-term issues to an OLED TV for example but at the same time it does also look, make the pictures look more authentic in a bright room. I'm in a dark room at the moment so ignore that. So that should be enough to get a, a gallery working. Now for ease of access you could just go ahead and then pin this app to the home screen so that you can just click on it manually when you need it. But we're going to go one step further and make it so that when you push a button on your remote, it will go to the art gallery. Kind of like the off button on the Samsung remote. So we need one more app. We go into the Google Play Store again and search for Button Mapper. Now button mapper is really good, it can actually be used to do a lot of other things too, such as map a button to launch your favorite app. So we're going to use that context to launch our art gallery. So download and install button mapper, very quick to do. We now open up the app and enable a permission by scrolling down to the bottom here and selecting button mapper on or enable. What this does is it allows you to use more buttons that are listed just here such as some of the buttons on your remote like the colored buttons. So I've clicked on add button here and I'm going to use the blue button on my remote because I don't really use it for anything. So as you can see program blue has come up. Go ahead and select that. Choose customize. Now you can choose the uh, the uh, behavior. So you can have a single tap, a double tap or a long press off the blue button. I'm going to use double tap to prevent any kind of errors, maybe on my behalf if I accidentally hit blue one day. And go to actions, applications and find your new photo app or any other app that you want to use this function for. And now it's a simple matter of using your TV as usual and then double tapping blue now and it instantly takes us to our newly created art gallery. Now, for the icing on the cake, the last thing you can do is, is you can make the art gallery launch when you leave your TV idle for some time by going into your TV's settings, going down to screensaver, 
and choosing this option here and photo. Now by default it's normally on backdrop which shows the built-in Chromecast art gallery which is pretty okay but we want to use photo. But as you can see it's saying that this is a premium feature but the good news is is that it's only like two pounds and it enables a bunch of different features as you can see on the screen here such as background music and other things so I think it's worth it considering the cost of a frame and uh, yeah personally uh, I think this is just a, a great way to fill out the empty space in your room and it's very easy to do. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask me and I'll get back to you.